Hello everybody and welcome back to the shop. You guys want 10 more minutes of bomber building action? I'll give it to you right here in the shop where it's all drama free. This is a drama free shop people. Ain't no Oprah allowed in here. Oprah if you're watching go away. Phil, Donahue, <laughs> Dr. Veal, go away. Uh, okay, people, I stand corrected. Okay, we got these drawn up before they actually go in the wing like this. Okay, you know that hump that comes up in our wing? It'll, these will go right there and they'll pivot right here. Okay. And so there's still plenty of room in there for my gas tank. See, that don't even come to this. I still got a ton of room. I still got all kinds of room for my tanks. My tanks, I just want to go straight down from here. You know, and that'll leave me... So I can get to that air cylinder, I can get to this. My big old servos. And still have room for a big old tank on each side. I'm going to make them next, people. After I get this landing gear set up done, bam, we're going to make some tanks. And I'm just going to get chunks whittled away until ain't nothing left to do. You know, that's how you do this, people. That's how you do it. But I have got to get in there. I'm going to go ahead and take that other cylinder apart. You know, it, it might be all right. You know, but chances are it might be in the same situation so I can't do nothing until tomorrow with that anyway so I'm going to go ahead and take it apart check it out get it lubed up figured you yeah, I'd like to watch because it feels kind of stiff too it, just, it don't feel right it's just right here and got it all taken apart so be just as easy to do it right now. But I'm gonna now when I put this back together, we're gonna check it with some air. <laughs> I think we'll be fine now because when Dad first built it, we hooked it up to the air tank and it didn't lose a bit of air all night long. Not a pound. So uh, you know, get it holding there that good. I'm sure hold that oil because remember we ain't going to go much more than 40 pounds. That's all we really need. Oh, don't go. I gotta take one more screw out. You know, and if it'll hold 100 pounds of air all night, then it'll hold 40 pounds of oil indefinitely. about the baby B1 and yeah we did get a flight on it the other day but there was only a couple passes on there and I had a bunch I had people whining bringing drama into it so I just decided to delete it you know the main thing was it flew <laughs> I'm sorry y'all didn't get to see very much of it. You know, that wasn't the attention. But the main thing was it flew. Alright? I just wanted to get that across to everybody. Now, if y'all want me to post it back up, give me a thumbs up on the Baby B1 video. The first flight without a crash, that didn't end in a crash. 
Let me know. I guess I'll post it back up. For you people that didn't want to see it, but it did have a couple passes in there that I seen. I didn't I didn't look at it before I posted it. I thought it might have got a little more. But there wasn't no one at the flying field people. I ran over there by myself. Thought I'd get a little more of it than we did. Okay. Still got, got four minutes to get this thing apart. No, it's alright. You can hear it. This air cylinder's fine. This one's fine. It's just that one. A little overspray on it. I don't know if I should mess with taking this apart or not. I think this one's good, people. I think that one's good. Oh, that's a heavy duty old air cylinder right there. I think that one's good. But yeah, I do got the baby B1 ready to fly again. My motor got in, came in. So I just put that motor on there. Flew it one time, and it quit working. That's his arm. Flies on Taylor on. See that? I just had it in the wings in the swept back position. With uh, I had a quarter up here and it was still a little nose heavy. It still had to kind of struggle with the up. So I put a dime on there and I'm going to try it with that dime next. And I might end up taking that off. How much time we got left? I made me a new one. For what I'm done crashing. Look at that bad boy. Oh yeah, it's even painted. And I got this little the little deals up here. Oh yeah. I painted that with house paint. And I what well, my buddy gave it to me. And uh, it's just latex house paint, but I thinned it way down. Thinned it way down. And then put it in my spray gun and just barely misted it twice. And I didn't add no weight. I mean, it ain't the perfect paint job, but it still looks better than it did. You know? And this one weighed right at 8 ounces, okay? And I'm going to get this one down below that was my goal here. I changed a couple things. Uh, inside here is all foam now. There is no wood. I made my piece of wood smaller there, that piece of wood smaller there, and uh, put a piece of carbon here on the bottom because that was kind of a weak point. My other one cracked there. And uh, I'm going to get this one down under 8 ounces, and it'll really fly good. I know it will. But until I'm done crashing, <laughs> I'm going to keep flying this one. Uh, <laughs> But when I had them twin motors on there, see where I had them? Oh, I crashed this thing 20 times. They just didn't have enough power. And it's still, I had to put a new nose on it. See that other old nose got kind of beat up. So I just cut it off and put a new nose on there. And shoot, this is ready to go crash some more. <laughs> no, I'm getting it figured out. I'm getting the CG dialed in. It's really flying pretty good. I even did a couple loops with it last time. But uh, next time I take it out, I'll uh, either, I got a helmet up there, I can tape that camera to, <laughs> or get someone to go with me or something. But I'll get her figured out. I'll get her figured out. So stay tuned, people. I'll post up some videos. Thumbs up on the Baby B1 video or down. It's up to y'all. See you in the 